Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I've had a few days now to take in and really have a think of when or how I go about moving forward uh, from having a not so great haircut. So this clip is all about looking at the positives of a not so great haircut. So first things first, so after I had the cut, um, I done my last clip, which was uploaded up onto my channel, so hopefully you've taken a look at that. If not, please do. I am pretty devastated, I have to admit, throughout the clip. Um, I take a lot of pride in my hair, and it's not through being vain or wanting people to look at me and think, he looks good or he's good looking or anything like that at all. It's not that at all. It's just I feel my most confident when I've got a real nice, smart, sort of, I always say a smart and dapper hairstyle. Um, it gives me a lot of confidence. I have hearing aids, so I'm always quite conscious that my hair has to look good for me to feel confident with my hearing problems, wearing hearing aids. Um, a whole host of sort of uh, things in the background because of that. But the main thing really is just because I really enjoy smart looking hair. So when I have a haircut, I really like it to look good. And because we came out of lockdown and of course we haven't been able to have a haircut for months and months and months. Um, I say months and months and months. How many months was it? About four, I think. Um, but it felt a lot longer, of course. So I really wanted to sort of smarten up the ends of my hair, um, keeping it ultra healthy because I was wanting to grow my hair out, which I still am. So thinking about the positive, so the back is still growing out. So that hasn't, I've just literally had that smartened up. Um, now, thinking back on where I went wrong, um, was possibly just to have held off on the appointment. I'm going through some health problems and things at the moment. I had to walk to my appointment, which is only a short walk, but because I'm having to use crutches for walking around at the moment, because of two uh, surgeries which have failed, hand repairs, I've got some mesh in my groin and things at the moment, which has given me a whole host of problems, um, and it's really difficult for me to put any weight on my right leg, and it's very uncomfortable, lots of pain, discomfort, so even though I'm smiling inside, I'm crumbling, at times anyway. Um, so in hindsight, I should have perhaps have just carried on. I'm awaiting an operation, so I perhaps should have just left the haircut, not worried about it, and then done it when I was in a lot more better health or in a better place. Because of course my awareness wasn't necessarily kind of there to go through, and I, I suppose I kind of expected to almost know straight away that I only wanted a trim, when actually I think what the person who cut my hair for years on and off, um, my my sort of person, my favourite person who cuts my hair, and she went on maternity leave um, about a year ago, but then this next person who's been cutting my hair has been cutting my hair for years as well on and off. Um, but uh, I suppose kind of what she's seen is that my hair had got really, really long because it was down to here. Um, the ends were quite thin because it had been cut into back in December. So what I wanted was to gradually cut that off. Um, so I think what she automatically done was, right, we'll get rid of that. And in a way, she didn't necessarily relay that back to me. Because what, what happened is whilst I was sat in the chair and I was really uncomfortable, she brushed, she wet my hair through. My hair was washed from, obviously, the precautions at the moment because of the uh, COVID situation. And of course, if you go and have your hair cut, and I believe that's across the whole of the Western world now, your hair has to be washed, which is absolutely fine. Um, so I had wet hair. It was all brushed backwards. So, of course, I couldn't see the length. And then she kind of started saying to me what sort of style did I want. And I wanted, I explained that I wanted to grow the back out a little bit just so it started to touch the back of my neck, the nape of my neck. I wanted the sides long in the front for about here and then sort of going down longer and then towards almost like a bit of a point at the back, but not so much a point, more of like that smoothness with the length. So a little bit of a nice style, a little bit like longer hairstyles like Keith Urban, um, Brad Pitt, uh, Johnny Depp, those sort of lengths, not overly long, but just a real nice sort of character about the hair. Um, and I, I really thought I was getting there. But of course, um, the person who cut my hair kind of took it on board that to sort of keep the length a little bit more at the back and bring the, the front really, really short. Um, and she kept saying several times, not leaving any hard lines. Well, now uh, what that really meant was really a real chipped in look, taking a lot of the weight out, but yet keeping it thick looking as well, which is a little bit strange, but I just wish I would have took more time um, to have gone through what I actually wanted and I only wanted a small trim. So always, always take the time and really just be, even if you've said it 50 times, just be sure that the person who's cutting your hair knows exactly how you want it. Because, of course, it's your hair at the end of the day. Um, so thinking about the positives on the back of that, my hair was fine at the ends because it was chipped in back in December. I 
do have highlighted hair which is growing out now um so it was it was great to get rid of the damaged ends you could say the thinner parts of my hair are now gone i'm left with much more thicker hair but it's shorter um my hair's fine anyway so i have to be careful with the right cut because it can either look super super thin or it can look very very flat so i use a lot of volumizing products a lot of lift and i use a blow dryer to sort of lift the hair up so now what i've done is i've got the length you can see the side sort of growing over and it's growing over my ears now because that covers my hearing aids I've got some of the length left, which is nice. Um, it's to about here, so perhaps a little bit longer than that. Um, and it was to here, so I've lost about that, which really was not my intention. It was only meant to be a very small amount off. In fact, in places, I've lost more than that. Um, I wasn't particularly happy with... And this is really, really strange because I think as well, just go careful because I think throughout this sort of uh, phase where hairdressers, salons, barbers are opening, they are rushing a little bit. And I found that because um, rather than having any sort of conversation with a mask on, um, amazingly, the person who cuts my hair, because she ha uh, she's, has the awareness that I have hearing problems, she has a clear mask, which is great. But there was no element of conversation at all. And normally there is. Um, and it was just sort of like, hurry up kind of get i'll get this done you could really feel that as well which was really quite sad actually um and, and what i was left with was uh, unfortunately quite a, a rushed job in parts of my hair and it almost looked like it was hacked so what i've had to do is i had to take my shears so here's my hair cutting shears here if anyone doesn't necessarily believe me i do i cut hair to an amateur level so for example i do sometimes cut my brother's hair i have um I have done other members of my family and I've done a really fantastic job. It takes me a long time, but I really do enjoy it. And that's through sort of just slowly over the years teaching myself. So I can do uh, women's and men's hair, um, but only to a very, very amateur level. And I don't mean a very intricate sort of cut. I mean, very often like one length cuts, perhaps um, sort of a few layers. That sounds really, really uh, quite advanced, doesn't it? But there are ways which you can do sort of simpler, softer layers around the face, that type of thing, which I've done before. Um, and on shorter hair, I find layers a little bit more easier to cut as well. Um, so I've done my nan's hair, I've done my mum's hair. Um, I've done my brother's partner's hair as well, um, which she was very pleased. My nan's always been very pleased and so is my mum. My dad's hair I've done very often. My brother's hair, my oldest brother's hair I've done, my twin brother's hair, so lots. Um, and they've all been very, very happy. But of course mine, I've tried to do my own before, but trying to find that balance of holding the mirror. And if somebody helps me, of course you're doing it opposite. If someone's holding a mirror at the back and you're trying to cut, it's, um, it's back to front. So it's really, really difficult. I would love to cut my own hair because I have never really found too many people who have cut my hair the way I really, really loved it. Um, let's be honest as well, men's haircuts are not cheap like they used to. Growing up when I was a bit, um, and I'd say even in the last couple of years, the prices of things has certainly gone up. Um, for example, my haircut, which I paid, was, I did, admittedly, I did buy a product, but it was £36. So take from that what you may but um i thought i was happy with it in the end and that when i left because um of course i didn't really see it it's until you wash it and then you think well actually um wow yeah it was um yeah really quite took me back i have to admit uh, so i had to take my own hair shears and i had to uh make a point of wetting dampening my hair down sort of lifting the hair up in the mirror sort of going through making sure it was all smartened up so it took me about an hour um and there was quite a bit which was out of place quite a bit which looked like it had been hacked by a child which was really quite sad to be honest with you because i've been going to this particular place for quite a long time you may say to me why wouldn't you go back and i think I wouldn't want to offend them. I wouldn't want to cause any sort of issue at all. Um, sadly, I just probably wouldn't necessarily go there again. Or if I do, I would ask to have somebody else. So, but I'm thinking of the basic, uh, the not basics. I'm thinking of the positives from having a not so great haircut. I have thinner ends, so that's now gone. The back is short, the back is longer, so in the end, it's all going to grow up to one length. So it's going to be thicker. It's going to have a lot more character. It's going to have a bit more body in the hair. It's going to look a bit more cooler. I'm going to think it's an awesome style. So in a couple of weeks' time, a couple of months' time, it will be back. I had bleached hair, and um, it was a little bit more drier on the ends as well. So of course, I've got rid of all that damage. You could say I'm getting opportunity to try out a bit more of a medium length hairstyle. Um, you can see I've got some length here, and I like the sort of the shorter version of the, hair, of the highlights through my hair at the moment, which is really quite cool, and I quite like that. I hope you do if you're uh, new to my channel. Please subscribe. <laughs> Not being cheeky. You don't have to, of course. Um, or if you're a regular viewer, hopefully you agree with me. It looks quite cool. 
I've got everything sort of swooping over with some volume and things on top, and then the length I've got here to one side. Um, so, yeah, and there's not too much I can do about it, but there are positives. As I say, we've got rid of the damaged hair, the fine ends at the end. Um, it's a much more of a uniformed, blunter cut rather than the sort of the chipped in version which I left the uh, hairdressers with, which I wasn't really particularly pleased. Because if you've got fine hair, there's one thing having sort of it uh, cut into a little bit, which if you don't necessarily know what that is, and forgive me if I'm sort of saying overly simple here, but if you imagine you've got a length of hair and it's all one length, cutting into the hair or thinning the hair out can help uh, fine hair appear thicker and stand up and give it more body and texture. But the main body of the hair stays at that length, but just inside you take some of the weight out, so some shorter hairs, maybe sort of this length, maybe a bit longer and a bit longer, and then you've got that full length. So it looks really, really cool. For me, it was just sort of hacked, so I had short bits, long bits, short bits, and it just didn't look cool. And very often, if I'm busy or if I've got a busy day at work, very often I like to straighten my hair off and then pull off to one side with a bit of pomade or a bit of wax and lots of free spray. Couldn't do that when i done it because it was really chipped in. I had long bits all down here. So my hair shears, I really did have to sort of take a moment and um, I sort of used a comb, went all through my head and uh, all through my hair rather and smarted it up myself and actually i was really pleased because i didn't actually need any help with that either so that's fantastic so really pleased on that and as i say there are benefits no more damaged ends the bleach is slowly growing out of my hair um and of course anybody knows that bleached hair does get dry so there are some positives of that as well and i get to sort of look at myself again with a bit more shorter hair and try out some cooler hairstyles with a bit more natural body because or natural volume sort of that type of uh thing because of course, longer hair is heavier, so your finer hair sits flatter. So I get to experiment with that again as well. But I will be growing my hair long. I'm uh, longer, I say, no no further than about here, just past my jaw, I don't think. Um, but we'll see, who knows? Uh, I don't think I would, but I really, really like that sort of swept back look and the length at the back here. So we are getting that. As you can see, I've got the length at the back here growing. Um, and the top is longish. Sadly, not as long as I had. But if that's all I had to worry about in this world, wouldn't it be wonderful? Or wouldn't that be wonderful if that's all we had to worry about is just our hair? So, on that note, thanks very much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed my clip. Um, so what I would just say is really just take your time with your post-lockdown haircuts. So don't just rush into it. Really think about it. And really, really make sure that the person, whoever is cutting your hair, understands and knows exactly what you want. Don't go on what they think you would look good with because i absolutely hate that um many times i've had my hair cut and then they start cutting my hair like how they think i should look it's your hair it's nobody else's it's your hair it's your decision your choice um and just lastly it is only hair um don't don't get stressed out about it even though i did but of course sometimes past now it is just hair and as i say if that's all we have to worry about wouldn't it be marvelous Okay, so thank you very much for your company. Thank you for watching my clip. It really does mean the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I really, really do enjoy my subscribers and I love all the views and love all the comments and questions. It really is amazing. Okay, so stay safe, stay well and take your time with your hair. Okay, thanks very much. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.